In this short video we're going to look at the inverse square law which is one of the most important mathematical relationships in the whole of physics. Um, in this case we're going to see how the inverse square law relates to the quantity intensity also known as radiation flux. As we know intensity or radiation flux is defined as power over area. It tells us how the power of a wave source is spread out over an area. It's as simple as that. But well, in this demonstration, what I've got here is uh, the wave source is a head torch, nice bright head torch. Now, we've got two screens, screen one, screen two. Screen one has a hole cut in it, has a square hole of exactly two by two centimeters. So it's, it's got an area of four centimeters squared. And the second screen is, is graph paper. So we're gonna see how big, how big this square becomes on, on, on the next one. Okay, so I'll just give you a closer look of what the meter ruler is doing. Now the meter ruler is, we've got the, uh, the head torch at zero. We've got the first screen at 10 centimeters. And we've got the second screen at 20 centimeters. So, Give you a closer look there. There's the, there's the actual square. Okay, exactly two by two. And if we double the distance, if we double the distance, we've got an area of four by four. Okay? So if we've doubled the distance, we've increased the area by a factor of one, two, three, four. Okay, or two squared. Alright? Now Radiation flux. The radiation flux here is a measurement of power over area. But we've got the same power hitting the second screen from the torch. But that same amount of power is spread out, spread out over four times the area. Now, so if it's spread out over four times the area, the intensity on the second screen the intensity of light from the torch is decreased by a factor of four. It's decreased by a factor of two squared if we double the distance from the wave source. Right, let's go up to 30 centimetres. Okay, at the moment we're on 20, so if we just move it back to... 30 centimetres, what are we going to get here? <clears throat> okay, just give you a closer look of the square. Okay, so as expected, we now have a square of 6 by 6. We've tripled the distance. We've tripled the distance. And so our area has gone from four centimeters squared to 36 centimeters squared. Okay, so we've increased by a factor of nine. We've increased the area by a factor of nine or three squared. So thinking about radiation flux, because power, because radiation flux is power over area, because area is underneath, the radiation flux has decreased by a factor of nine. So if we triple the distance, the radiation flux decreases by a factor of nine or three squared. Okay, let's go up to the next one. Let's go up to 40. Okay, you should be able to see quite nicely there. So the square now is eight by eight. So the, 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 the area of the square is now 64 centimeters squared. Okay, so we've gone from four centimeters squared to, to, to 64. So we've increased the area by a factor of 16. So we've decreased the radiation flux by a factor of 16 or four squared because we've quadrupled the distance, we've increased the distance by a factor of four.
Okay, last one. Let's go up to 50 centimeters. Okay, should be able to just see there quite nicely. Okay, the edge of the square is getting a little bit diffuse now because of obviously um, diffraction. However, we can see that the area of the square is pretty much 10 by 10. Okay, so the, the area of the second square now is 100 centimeters squared. So it was four here, it's now 100. So we've increased the area by a factor of 25. So we've decreased the radiation flux by a factor of 25 or five squared, okay? So we've multiplied the distance by a factor of five and decreased the radiation flux by a factor of five squared or 25. So there you have it, radiation flux and the inverse square law. Thank you very much.